Here's example four of summed up product formulas. So uh, here's cosine of two theta minus the cosine of five theta. And what we want to do is write this difference as a product. So uh, we go back to our formula sheet. And if you want a copy of the sheet, check the video description. There's a link in there. You can click that link and get a copy of this. So here's cosine of something minus cosine of something else. So we're going to use this fourth formula, uh, cosine alpha minus cosine beta equals negative two sine alpha minus beta over two times the sine of alpha plus beta over two. So that's the formula that we're going to use. And we're going to uh, say, since it's cosine of alpha minus cosine of beta, this here is going to be our alpha, and this here is going to be our beta. Okay, so two theta, that's alpha, and then five theta, that's our beta. Okay, so now we're just gonna plug stuff into the formula and then simplify and see what we get. So this is uh, negative two times the sine of alpha minus beta over two, so that's uh, two theta minus five theta all over two. Okay, alpha minus beta over two and then uh, times the sine of alpha two theta. Let's zoom in a little bit on that. So that's a two theta right there, two theta, and then plus uh, beta, which is five theta, all over two. Okay, so that's what we have going on there. Now when we simplify, what are we gonna get? So we're gonna have negative two times the sine of uh, two theta minus five theta is negative three theta. So we have negative three theta over two and then times the sine of two theta plus five theta is seven theta. So we have seven theta over two, okay? All right, now there's one more little thing left uh, to do that we can simplify, and it's actually gonna work out pretty nicely because we're gonna get rid of all of our minus signs. So uh, remember, sine is an odd function, so sine of negative theta equals negative sine of theta, okay? And it's not true just for theta, it's true for anything that's in here, okay? It's, as long as you have sine of negative something, that's gonna be negative sine of just that something. So specifically, uh, in this case, sine of negative three theta over two equals uh, negative sine of three theta over two, okay? So uh, then this becomes negative two times negative sine of three theta over two. And then we still have times the sine of seven theta over two, okay? So let's get rid of this now. Now we have a negative two times negative sine, okay, of three theta over two. So negative times a negative, the negatives cancel, and we just end up with positive. So uh, now uh, those signs go away. So then we just have two times the sine of three theta over two times the sine of seven theta over two. And that's it, that's our final answer here. So we'll zoom back out. So uh, cosine of two theta minus cosine of five theta, if we rewrite that as a product using these, uh, this fourth sum to product formula here, then what we get is uh, two times the sine of three theta over two times the sine of seven theta over two. Okay, so it's, it's pretty straightforward, nothing too complicated, just a matter of uh, making sure we use the right formula, identify alpha and beta, plug them into the formula uh, appropriately, and then simplify, and then make sure we remember that sine is an odd function so we can simplify with this minus sign in here. And when we do that, we end up with this two sine three theta over two times sine of seven theta over two. So that's example four of using the sum to product formulas.